Today we're going to do a quick video. I'm going to show you how to use a tool that is used to rewind a piston back into a brake caliper. Uh, this tool is required on vehicles that have four-way disc brakes. Uh, chances are you're going to need something like this on the rear brakes. Uh, very simple tool. You just have different patterns that will line up with the pattern that is on the piston in the caliber. Take your extension and your ratchet, put it into the the hole that's opposite of the pattern that you're going to use and put your wrench for clockwise righty tighty and turn the piston into the caliber. You'll see how that uh, works in the video that we're going to show next. There are different variations of these plungers that have to be rotated into the caliper. This is a very common common one here. It has two grooves, like so, that the tool will fit into, and then we spin it back into the caliper. What I usually do is I'll remove the caliper mounting bolts, as you can see here, and then I'll move the caliper out this way, just so I can access everything a little easier. The extension on it and you just put it in the opposite side of the one that you're going to use. I think this is the one I said we were going to use. So that will go in against the plunger and then we're going to turn it clockwise righty tighty to get the plunger into the caliper. So I've placed the uh, retraction tool onto the plunger of the caliper you can see the extension coming through here, through here, hopefully. I'll put my socket on, make sure that it's set for righty-tighty. Put that in there. And, oops, kind of slipped out. Hopefully this will hold good because this particular plunger is kind of gummed up with a whole bunch of refuse. You get the idea. Just turn that, and hopefully you can see that the plunger is retracting into the caliper. I'm going to retract it all the way, put the pads in, and then I'm going to pump the brakes to get my pressure back. Pretty straightforward process. 